What's happening, everybody? It's Sean with Reactions to the Classics, and today, got a unique one. We got Jethro Tolls, Ian Anderson doing a flute solo brought to us by our friend, longtime supporter and patron of the channel, Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. Always appreciate you. Melissa said, uh, Jethro Tolls, Mr. Ian Anderson performing a flute solo live. No lyrics to decipher, just a self-taught musician doing his thing. She said she loves this particular rendition. It isn't her favorite. The one I prefer is in a concert that's only available in full. Uh, this was good. This is good, she said, and thought lost forever, but brought back to life by a group who used donations to restore the entire concert. Uh, I do have a little bit of Jethro Tull. I've done a couple, I've done a song reaction for to Jethro Tull uh, for Melissa. And I also have a full album review or reaction of them up as well. So, I mean, and Ian made the flute cool in, uh, in rock music. So, we're going to check out the YouTube video and, uh, you know, we'll comment. Let's just enjoy it, vibe to it, and I'll comment on it when it's over. Thanks again, Melissa. Getting after it. Man, I don't know where I could score me a jacket like that, but I would look fly walking around my area mall in that thing. Well, now I get to see the full ensemble with the boots and the and the pants. This man is sweating. This man isn't even close to being done. There's those eyes that Ian has. Yeah. Now Melissa said this was best if we needed it over Christmas here. Now everybody else is coming in. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
still got a couple minutes to run it, man. flute solo seven minute solo get a little holiday cheer in the middle of it from the great ian anderson uh interesting story behind ian is as uh melissa alluded to in her comment of him being self-taught he played the electric guitar originally but gave it up because he thought he could never be as good as eric clapton back in the mid 60s so before their first album came out he'd only been playing flute for a few months he just decided to pick it up uh he was very famous because he stood on one leg when he played the flute uh, a lot of times, I don't know if he did it all the time. And he said he did that because he was originally, when he was playing the harmonica, he would hold the, the mic stand with one hand and it just made him kind of stand up on that one foot. And so it just kind of carried over and he became he became famous for it. Um, a journalist actually wrote he was standing on one way playing the flute. He was really standing on one way playing the harmonica, but he decided uh, he, he would live up to it all the time or do the best he could to do it. So I did enjoy that. I liked how it was just him at first. And then the band starts to build in a little bit and build some texture to it. You know, he didn't try to hide his breathing. Obviously, he was very exaggerated in the breathing and making all kinds of vocal uh, ticks and noises to add to the to the ambiance and texture. Of it. You know, I'm not a big prog rock guy. If you watch this channel, you know, I did enjoy their album that I listened to, um, but I'm not a big I'm not a big prog rock guy. I find stuff in it I definitely like. I'm a huge Pink Floyd fan. You know, there's there's things in it. So for me, this is one of those that's fun to to watch one time i really wouldn't want to revisit it but there's nothing wrong i enjoy the art of it there's a lot of early genesis stuff with gabriel i feel exactly the same way with but just awesome musicianship appreciate you bringing this melissa and thank you to all the patrons who support us you like to help us in any way want us to do a reaction to a song a song battle anything like that check out the patreon link below and the patron link on the end screen where i will link my album review to toll as well if you want to click on that and check that out all right guys until next time i will see you